how to get overflowing favor. Making Jesus Lord of your life is the very best thing that you can do. At the end of the message, I'll lead you in a short prayer. I have a friend. When I call her, she'll always answer. Uh, when I ask, how are you doing? She will always answer, I am blessed and highly favored. My response to Hazel is, oh yes, and you are a blessing too. Hazel is a blessing. The point that I want to make is this. This is one way to get favor, that is, to speak it, to confess it. Also, as you aim to be a blessing, you will be blessed yourself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the way that it works. Another way is to give. Giving not only to honor God, but also just to be a blessing. Luke 6, 38 is a favorite scripture. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give into your bosom. So giving is yet another way to bring favor. Giving is also a way to have supernatural abundance. Furthermore, as you do unto others, so it will be done unto you. Put another way, you reap what you sow. Yes, you do. That is the seed plant harvest principle, which is a natural governing law. Galatians 6 verses 9 and 10. Let us not get tired of doing what is right, for after a while we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't get discouraged and give up. That's why whenever we can, we should always be kind to everyone and especially to our Christian brothers. Now I want to go to 2 Corinthians 9 and verses 8 through 11. God is able to make it up to you by giving you everything you need and more. For God, who gives seed to plant and crops to harvest, will give you more seed to plant and will make it grow so that you can give away more and more. Yes, God will give you much so that you can give away much. Now, let's pray. Oh, Father God, thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and forgive me of my sin. Right now, Lord, I make you Lord and Savior. In your name I pray. 
Amen.